Hello, my name is Stella and I'm going to read you a story about Enormous and it's written by Angie Morgan. Enormous was big. He didn't know why, he just was. His best friend Tiny Mouse tried to help. Don't worry Enormous, being big isn't so bad. And it wasn't. Being big was really quite useful. When he went exploring with the other mice, he could reach things they couldn't reach. He could, he could lift really heavy cheese. And he could carry the little mice when their legs got tired. One day, when Enormous was exploring with Tiny Mouse, they came across a large book. The two friends looked at the pictures. They looked at each other. Uh oh, I think I know why you're so big, Enormous, said Tiny Mouse. You're not a mouse at all. You're a rat. When the other mice found out, they laughed. They laughed and laughed. Poor Enormous. All his life he had thought he was a mouse. Being a rat was rather a shock. I don't think I belong in mouse house anymore, he said to himself sadly. I think I should go and find some rats to live with. And so he left. So Enormous left the mouse house. At first he felt afraid and rather lonely. But then a friendly rat came by who kindly took him to the rat's house. When they arrived, Enormous was horrified. There was a mess everywhere. Everywhere. It wasn't messy like an untidy bedroom, oh no. It was much, much worse. It was moldy and smelly and buzzing with flies, sort of messy. The smell was so bad it made Enormous eyes water. He thought he ought to ask if, if they would like him to do a spot of cleaning, but the rats only laughed. Relax! They are rats. Rats love a mess. Poor Enormous. He just wasn't like the other rats. His heart ached for Tiny Mouse, his other mouse friends, and his cozy home. He began to think he had been a little bit hasty. Back at the mouse house, the mice were all very, very sorry that they had laughed at Enormous. So they all set off bravely to look for him. None of them had the faintest idea where they were going. And soon they were all very, very lost. In the rat's house, Enormous finally knew what he had to do. He said goodbye to the rats, thanked them politely for having him, and set off home. Goodbye. Meanwhile, in the dark, the mice were very frightened. They began to, he they began to hear strange things, strange and scary noises all around them. An owl hooted, help, they squeaked. We are all going to die. Suddenly they heard footsteps approaching and a large shadow loomed over them. There was much trembling and squeaking and a small voice said, I wish Enormous was here. He would save us. And out of the darkness, a familiar voice said, I'm here. It was Enormous. Oh, we really, really missed you, Enormous. Please come home. Please, 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 said all the mice. So Enormous did. He was back where he belonged, where he truly belonged, in the mouse house. 
Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the story. That was the end of my story.